Morning, welcome to Cigar Cabin. I'm Des. This is going to be episode number three. Make sure you check out episode number two. Last week we did the Gurkha Co, so just check that one out. Today we're going to look at a different cigar, so I'll go and get that shortly. Um, so please make sure you subscribe, hit the notification bell to let you know when the next video comes out. Also check out our website, our Instagram, and also our Twitter. Um, sit back, relax, and enjoy. Hope you've had a good week, so let's get on with it. Today we're going to go into uh, a Rocky Patel 20th anniversary cigar, um, double banded. Um, so if you have a look at that. So this one is the 20th anniversary of the Rocky Patel. So it's from 1995 to 2015. It's um, Honduras. Um, it's a six inch um, cigar. It's a ring gauge of 60. The ring gauges, I will go into further detail more into the episodes, just as I say, we can I can explain exactly what the ring is and, and maybe go into more detail of a cigar in later um, episodes. So this this is a, a regular shape, um, double banded, I think it looks great. Rocky Patel was a cigar I went into quite early on, probably the first cigars. Um, I used to go to um, a pub in in Hal's Owen. Um, he was in the, he was like, they had the smallest cigar room. I went in there, and the guy who ran it, he was, your dad basically one sofa. So you all crammed up in this, this little smoky room. Um, at the top end, they had like a cocktail bar, but the cigars were where I wanted to go. And I'd heard about it, and it was quite a popular place to go. So I went down there, and the guy, he'd never seen me before, and he quite liked the way I, I was sort of presenting myself. I, I explained that I was quite new to it. And he'd give me a cigar, he'd give me a rock and say, take, take this home, we'll see you next week. It was only a Sundays and a Monday that they'd do these cigar nights. The Rocky Patel was the one he gave me, it was a, a longer one, I think it was about 12 inch, I can't remember, but it was, it was quite an experience because it was so friendly. So the Rocky Patels was when I went to cigar shops, they, I just thought, well, I'll take one of these, I'll stick with what I know, and I did enjoy them. So, as I say, this is a 20th anniversary cigar, it's a quite a mild cigar, so let's see how the taste goes. So let's get this, this is the first binder off. We can take that one off and just put that away. But let's say, let's say let me show you, this, this one doesn't really do much, it just tells you it's a, a natural um, cigar. When we get further down the cigar, I'll show you this part of the uh, band. It's quite a, a load of detail done into it, but yeah, I'll show you a bit later in the cigar. So let's get this lit, let's see what it tastes like. So let's get into the cutting and the smoking of this cigar. So, my preferred choice is the guillotine cutter. Um, you can also do uh, a punch, which on some very good cigar lighters, you can go and ask them and they will provide these. At the bottom of the, the, the lighter, they have what's known as a punch, but I will go into more detail about the punching. It's a little bit easier than doing the guillotine because sometimes you have to be a bit more precise with the guillotine cutter. The punch sometimes can be a bit harder on the draw, but again, I'll go into that in more detail on the next or one of the next few videos that we, we, we produce. So let me get straight into the cutting. So again, we look at the cigar and we, we look at where the cap is on the top. If you're not sure, it's, it's quite simple. You can you can almost see at the top. You want to take only the top layer off there, and that's normally the cap. So what I do is, is I generally just just gauge it myself, and then take the cut. So always make sure you got your lighter with you with you and the ashtray. So let's get cut in. There it is. Wipe off any residues. I sometimes like to just to wet the end of the cigar, so and that takes off any anything else that's left over from the cut. So let's get straight into the toasting. So again, butane lighter. Don't use those zippos as I explained before. Um, so let's get this going. So first of all, let's just get this toasted. So toasting is just cooking the end of it. So again, it burns, so it's smoking. So there you go. As it's starting to smoke, you can see it working. So there we go. That's nice, so it's starting to, starting to smoke. Then take it to your mouth, and then let's get drawing. So as you can see, initially, that's lit quite well. That's smoking quite nicely. 
first taste, it's a bit, it's, it's hard to explain, but it's quite flavoursome to be fair for a mild cigar, but it is smoking quite well. So just have a double check and just have a look how it's how it's burning straight away. Take another couple of draws off it and uh, yeah, and see where you are with it. Yeah, smoking really well. I'm trying to get some of the flavours on it. Even initially, there's there's like um, a cocoa flavour. With the wrapper on this, when I'm looking at it, it's very veiny as well. I mean, it looks great. It looks great. And the draw is quite nice. The draw is nice and smooth, which is no surprise for the Rocky Patels. They do generally do a very good cigar. Um, so yeah. Again, like I said to you before, with the this, with this cigar, the initial taste is, can be quite harsh, and it's, but as you get further down the cigar, further down the leaf, it gets a much better taste to it. But initially, I'm getting a, a hint of cocoa, a um, bit of pepper. There's nothing on the lips because there's no taste on the, on the, on the leaf. But initially, it's a, it's a, it seems like a really nice cigar. It's burning quite, quite evenly. Um, I don't know if you can see that. So, what I like about cigars, and this is one of the things that that really draws me to it, is the colour. Like this is a this is a lovely colour leaf on here, and when it starts to burn, the ash it actually it goes like a real nice grey, really nice grey, which is I just think it looks great against the darkness of this cigar leaf. Um, and again, this is smoking quite well. It draws really well. I'm enjoying it at the moment. Um, and I say it is a special cigar, it's the Rocky Patel 20th anniversary cigar, so you have got to really enjoy it. So again, yeah, um, it, 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 at the beginning, it's really nice. So I think what we'll do is, is I'll take a few more draws of this, give you a little bit more feedback on it, how it's burning, because it is burning quite, quite even, which is quite nice. And then what we'll do is we'll come back in about 15 minutes time and we'll have a look where we are. Um, but I think this could be a good, good hour cigar. But yeah, let's see how it goes. It depends how hard I suck on it, but yeah, let's uh, let's enjoy this and yeah, let's see how it goes. The smoke is fantastic. Can you see it? It's just just coming out. It's, sometimes you can get really difficult smoke from, from cigars. This is just drawing really well. There's no effort in it. I'm enjoying it. It's, it's a definite one to get. We'll have a little look at, because it's not harsh and it is drawing really well. But again, if if you feel like it's not symmetrical around the edges, as I've said in, in other videos, you can just just light, light the side of it, light the side of it, just to even it out. That's all you need to do, simple as that. But you don't necessarily have to do it, it can burn however you want to do it, just as long as you're enjoying the cigar and enjoying the moment. So yeah, so I'll probably see you in a 15 minutes time and see where we are with this cigar. But I think this one will be quite a quick cigar because it is burning really well and I'm enjoying the smoke. It's, it's, it's lovely, lovely. That's all I can say. But yeah, see you in a minute. What I'm enjoying about this cigar is it's burning really well, as you can see from the ash there. And one of the things I like to do is try and keep the ash on as long as I can. It's, it's a bit of a, a test of, of what construction is on this cigar. Now the construction is, is how, the, how it's been built. I think from, from my experiences from speaking to other cigar goers, if you can keep, the, this is a little thing when we go out, it, is trying to keep the ash as long as possible. It's a bit of a task, but generally what you do is you just keep the, the cigar in an upright position and just try and smoke upwards. Um, and that does generally keep the, and it's a bit of a game, whoever gets the, 
the longest ash kind of wins and yeah it's a bit of fun so i'm gonna i'm gonna attempt that today i'm gonna see how far i can keep this ash, ash going without it falling off um so it looks like it's burning really well and the taste of this cigar and the draw is amazing the leaf isn't falling apart sometimes some cigars are constructed badly or not as good as the rocket towers are, are renowned they're world renowned they're a great cigar they've been packed beautifully this is just running beautifully all the way through from from the base right the way to the to, to the cigar and it smokes lovely you'll see now and i've I'm not not touched this for about a minute or so but just you'll see now I mean, what, what pleasure is better than seeing that? I mean, it's great. And it is just a delight, burning lovely. And again, cigar smoking is all about the enjoyment and the moment and just relaxing. And I don't think there's, there's much more that can beat it. I, I, this, is, this is a bit of me, this is what I love doing. And you know, I'm hoping that people will resonate with me and enjoy it and want to be a part of it, love it. I can see now already the ash is starting to just falter here which is could be an issue so I need to just keep this in an upright position um, but you'll have to forgive me if it falls off because <laughs> it is with cigar smoking is sometimes when you're you're smoking it the ash falls off when you least expect it, it makes a mess everywhere but hey no, you just brush it off it disappears but as you can see I don't know if you can see in there you can see it kind of breaking here so that's a sign that there's not much left in this to be fair i think a couple more and that'll fall off but yeah just have to laugh at me when it happens i don't know whether when i'm smoking it when i'm drawing on it you can actually see the colors involved in when you're drawing um, what i'll do is i'll get a bit closer and i'll take a couple of puffs but have a little look and the colors that this produces are phenomenal it's almost like lava it's, it's such a lovely vibrant color so yeah let me just do a couple of drawers let me get closer and see if you can see it i'll, I'll point it this way I don't know if you got that, but the colours are amazing. Construction's really good. It's burning fairly straight. And like I say, the ash is still sticking in, it's still working. So the taste that I'm getting now, now I'm probably a quarter of the way down the cigar. It is peppery. The chocolate is almost, the cocoa's almost gone. I can't really taste any chocolate. It's more peppery and it kind of sticks on my tongue a little bit the taste um but on the whole it's a nice cigar i'm enjoying it what's the what's the biggest pleasure on this cigar probably the draw probably the smoke and probably the it meaning something as well to rock tab in the 20th anniversary but they've done a really good cigar here it, it's drawing well it's burning well and it's not harsh it's, it, it's smoking it's i'm enjoying it it's a really nice cigar. Well done, Rocky Patel. So the ash is sticking in, as you can see. So how, how what's that? Three quarter an inch, half an inch? My maths ain't very good to be fair, but what? Yeah, but it's burning quite well. But as you can see, it is starting to, to burn a little bit differently, but that sometimes is dependent on the leaf as well. The veins on the leaf can sometimes determine how that will burn. I don't need to touch it now. It's just gonna burn away. There's no point messing about with it. I'm happy with the way it's working. I'm not really that fussed if it burns unevenly. So yeah, works for me. 
what I'm trying to say is, don't be concerned if it doesn't burn evenly. It's not the pill and end all. You'll still get to the end of the cigar one way or the other. Um, so yeah, sometimes I've gone into the last video saying, you know, burn the edges, get it level again. You don't need to. Just just enjoy the cigar. Don't pressure yourself into keeping that straight. That's that like it 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 nice and formed. It doesn't matter. This is the whole point of cigar smoking. It's going to be a bit all over the place. But we're still sticking in there on the ash, and I think we're getting almost down. I think we're about an inch down there. I think. But yeah, it's burning lovely. I love it. It's an, it's an enjoyable cigar. We've got down to halfway this cigar. It's burning unevenly, but it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. I'm hanging on to the ash. Honestly, it's ridiculous. But this is now because. I need to do it. I need to try and keep this as far as possible. So I am actually smoking upwards, but most cigar people would understand what I'm doing here. So it's just a case of, I have to keep pushing this pan, keep very, keep my hands very gentle, basically. Because if I do any false moves or any sudden movements, this ash is gonna just go everywhere. So as I say, I am literally smoking upright. So it is what it is. cigar is still smoking really well really well you can see it I mean the taste it's just a mild nice taste it's enjoyable I'm, I'm, in, I'm, I'm loving it um, the, the band will have to come off shortly I'll give you a close-up of the band as well there's a lot of effort that goes into the bands of these cigars I keep hold of them as you can see the first one that we did was the tobacco the special then if you can zoom into that first one a lovely band the next one was uh, you remember the Gurkha Ghost check out that for a band unreal unreal I've got to try and keep this cigar I think I've got to be fair I could lose it at any point so that's the Gurkha Ghost and obviously this one which I'll show you the band shortly once I take it off I'll, I'll show you but I'm scared to as you can see with the cigar now it is starting to fracture in a few places okay which is nothing to worry about. I am keeping hold of that cigar. It's uh, it, it's working. It's working. But this is a good. This means it's a good construction cigar. It's a it, it's a it's a very well put together cigar. The colours, the colours when I'm I'm, I'm drawing on it, it's unreal. I, I, it's unreal. I love the colours that cigars produce. There's so many different colours on this cigar and any cigar that you smoke and it just makes it enjoyable. So we're getting right down this cigar. I thought this was going to be a longer, longer cigar but I'm trying to keep it but I think we could be done in half an hour. That's fine, that's fine, it doesn't matter as long as I'm enjoying it. I think the band's gonna have to come off now because it's starting to affect where I'm actually drawing from. So let's get this band off as simply as possible without actually breaking this ash. And what I'll do is I'll try and give you a close up of the band without unraveling it. So, there it is. So as you can imagine, a lot of work goes into each production of every single cigar. And that's what I love about it. The effort, the time. And like I've always said before, they put the effort and time in making these cigars, you put the effort and time in smoking them and enjoying them. So that's that's one of the pleasures from it. So I'm about probably just above halfway at the moment. Um, I'm keeping hold of this ash. Um, but probably on the next cut, it might be gone. But I'll, <laughs> I'll show you, hopefully, it'll either be over the floor or it'll be in the ashtray and I'll show you where I've got to. And we'll do a little target of trying to get the next one, trying to get it longer. Oh, absolutely brilliant. Love it, love it. It's still sticking in there. The actual wrapper is going with the veins a little bit on the wrap. But it's 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 great. I'm loving it.
There it is. I don't know if you caught that. Sorry, people. It's gone. I was trying to be as delicate as possible. All over my shoes. That'll just rub off anyway. It's fine. <laughs> but it is what it is. Expect the unexpected. It goes when it's ready. But I can again see where I can go with this ash bit. See if I'm getting further. But I, was, I think that was a, so it's a six inch cigar. I think I got two and a half inches of ash, which is fine. I'm happy with that. That probably win most records at the uh, cigar um, events that I'll go to. So just a little bit of fun. So I say we're more than halfway down now. Let me just give you an overview of what I'm getting. So. This is a real, this is a peppery, this is peppery. I'm not getting anything else at the moment. It's not strong. It's like I say, it's a mild, it's peppery. It's an enjoyable cigar. It's drawing really well. And this has been all the way through the cigar so far. Um, some, some you have to fight with. Sometimes I've had a cigar and I've got literally halfway down and I'm having to work it a little bit, like keep lighting it, keep touching it, keep, but I, I reckon I could leave this two or three minutes, just on the side, have a little drink, have a little chill out, and just, sorry, let me just explain what that noise is. That's my dog. Remember Reggie, probably the first episode? I'll tell you what, what we'll do, we'll let him in, we'll let him in. He'll soon want to get out, so, so I excuse the lighting. If you just close that the other way. Let's let that, let's let that bugger in. He'll soon change his mind once he gets in and sees the cigar. Can you hear him? <laughs> he wants to be a part of these videos, these productions, so um, yeah, listen. <laughs> I don't know if you remember Reggie from before. Listen to him. <laughs> That's his way of trying to get into this production. I think we'll let him in. Honestly, he'll soon change his mind once he gets in. So we'll let him in. Here he is. Reggie, come here. Sit down. So first thing he's done, he's seen the ash on the floor. It has broke quite well actually, to be fair. So in any great video, any great production, there's always, they say never work with animals or kids. Reggie's the prime example of that. All he's doing now is having a big sniff around and he's trying to understand what the hell's going on in here. I'm sure he don't like it. He's never liked it since I began this cigar smoking. He's never wanted to be a part of it, but I'm going to sniff around. But I'll continue smoking this cigar uh, and let, the, let Reggie soon leave. Honestly. The little character though. He's my little boy. Well, little. Probably a few people will go, your dog's a bit overweight, blah, blah, but he's not overweight. He's a bulldog. They're meant to be quite large. Come here. Let me explain to you about Reggie. So he's your classic bulldog. Good colours. Bun tail. He's got a slightly longer snout, so he's the proper original. What they've done is they've just overbred these dogs, they can do sometimes, and um, they have the shorter snouts which affect the breathing, but Reggie, he's one of the classics. He's got a slightly longer snout, so he don't have the breathing issues that most bulldogs do have that have been bred, overbred. But again, that's another. But he's part of the props. Big respect to Reggie. I'm sure over the next coming videos and everything, he'll be involved a bit more um, and he'll become a character in himself and you'll see what kind of dog he is. But he's beautiful, he's my boy. But again, going back to this cigar, it's drawing really well. I'm enjoying it. The smoke's great. 
drawing really well and it's a cigar that you can leave for a period of time uh, and come back to but again even if you do put it down for a couple of minutes or even goes to five minutes it's fine you can always just relight it it's fairly simple um, but again in a, in a future video what I'll do is I will actually put the cigar down for more than five minutes and then I'll show you how to relight it um, and re, re, re toast it. So that'll be in one of the f next future videos. Um, so again, there'll be a few more explanations going into cigars and how they're made and we'll probably go into more detail further down the line. But again, I'm enjoying this one. Rocky Patel, you bring yourselves proud. Cracking. Not been the start, didn't they? You tell me when I'm ready. Not so. so, a little bit of a Reggie. Honestly, this is the longest he's ever stayed into a room while I'm having a cigar. I think it's because I've got something going on and he needs to be interested. He needs to be a part of the production. But bless him. He's. Well, maybe he'll start sitting into the videos a bit longer. Come here. See, he's not so bothered anymore. He used to hate it. But come here, sit down. He's still a bit, he's still a bit tentative, but he's getting used to the smells. I don't condone it. He's only five years old. I don't know what that is in dog years, but I'm sure he's old enough. But yeah. More videos that come out, I think he'll be in more of the videos. I think you'd like to see him. He's a character. He's 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 more little boy. And he's 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 just perfect for the whole cigar experience and I hope you enjoy seeing him in more of the videos and you've seen how much love there is he loves me I love him we're just a, a, a partnership we're a partnership not me and Brett we're a partnership this isn't going to just be a, a an off-the-cuff thing this is this is going to be a big production and I hope you stick with it stick with us and enjoy me experiencing the cigars and working with a great crew. Reggie, being a part of it. Caught it, the treat. We're now three quarters of the way down this cigar. It's been an incredible smoke, I'm enjoying it. It's not one of those those cigars that can, can take you ages to smoke, it's drawing really well. And I don't know, let me show you, three quarters down, You'll see how it's burning. Fantastic. So the ash is again burning nice and square. I'm coming to the end of it. So when you come to an end of cigar, the tastes are different. So it becomes, a, I'd say almost a stronger taste. People might disagree with me, but in my experience, it gets stronger as you get further down the cigar. You might have your own reviews on it. But in my personal experience, the further you get down the cigar, the leaf gets stronger, it gets enjoyable, more enjoyable, and it's, it's a pleasure. And again, I will explain, it doesn't matter how, you can almost get right down to the nub, literally just to get your lips onto the bottom of it. To, you want to get right down to the bottom of the cigar. With a cigar cigarette, I suppose they have a, a filter at the end, and that's when you stop. With the cigar, there is no filter. This is just straight, trying to get it right to the very end, all right? And it is funny when we're in, we're in different events or different cigars or smoking with different people, everyone's trying to just trying to grab as much of the cigar as possible to try and get as much out of this cigar as possible. So there's still a, a, a bit of a way to go here. But again, it all depends on, on how I'm drawing it, how much I'm smoking it. But I try not to keep this into my mouth all the time. I like to just chill out, relax. And further into the videos, you'll see that, you know, you can just put it down, do something else, have a drink. So yeah, I'm gonna keep drawing on it. I think we've got about another 20 minutes or 15 minutes into this cigar. And then what I'll do is I'll give you a good review of, of my thoughts on this cigar. And as we did before, um, the grading, which we'll go through at the end, all right. I haven't, I haven't said though, I've got quite thin fingers, slender fingers, almost piano playing fingers. Most cigar smokers, from my experience, 
they do have fat fingers, so it can, it can be more of a challenge for them to, to get as much out of the cigar as possible. Um, so yeah, that's that's kind of fun, but I can kind of, because of my fingers, my build and my fingers, I can get right down the cigar almost to the very end. So yeah, we'll see where we go with this one. Smoking really well, I'm really enjoying it. And I hope you are enjoying watching me smoke this cigar as much as I'm enjoying smoking this cigar. Um, it, it really is a nice, nice cigar. Wow, there's a really strong, I took a draw then, it's really strong. I don't know if you noticed, give me almost goose pimples there. Honestly, it was like, this is coming to the end of the cigar and it's it's like, it really does change. The cigar changes as you go down it. So, you know, you've got to really take the cigar for what it is and go all the way to the end. At the moment, <laughs> it's leaving a really nice taste in my palate, on the tongue. Um, and it's, it's great, it's great, that's all I can say. I'm gonna continue smoking it. Surprise, surprise, Reggie's still in here. I think he's having a bit of a chill out now, he's having a bit of a lie down. Bless him. If you can hear a little noise, that's him just relaxing, which is very unusual. The boy is a natural star, I reckon. I reckon he wants to be, as, as popular as hopefully we can be moving forward in the videos. You'll probably be requesting him more than me. Get ready on more. Yeah, she's doing really well. Again, second part. A bit disappointed that you fell off when it did. I think there's definitely uh, improvements to be made in my um, trying to hold the cigar ash for a bit longer but as you can see it was an unnatural thing it just fell off I didn't do anything sudden it just went when it went so I'm getting towards the end of this cigar now what happens is is that with a cigar I've got the leaf there the ash there. So as you get further down, the heat from the cigar isn't here, it's further down. It's it's probably a finger grip down, so it gets hotter. So that's when it becomes more of a, a hardship to smoke. It just gets a bit hotter, and before you know it, your fingers are burning, and that's fun to just put it down and then put it out. But I am going to try and get this right down to the nub, but it may get a bit hot and I might have to just abort it. So let's get, let's get going a little bit more. As you, see, as you can see, I'm starting to struggle now trying to get into the, the cigar, but it's fine. I'll do it as much as I can. See, I'm taking less draws now because it's a bit more difficult. But on the whole, as you can see, it's smoking really well. It's great. I'm not sure Crip Powell's enjoying it too much. <laughs> He's not a cigar smoker, but I think he can enjoy the smell of a cigar. I don't think he's that concerned. If this was a cigarette, it'd be horrible. It'd be horrible in here right now, but he's enjoying the, I think he, he don't mind the smell of a cigar, which helps. Cigarettes, I wouldn't even be here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he wouldn't even be in the room. I'll be here on my own, trying to do everything, but what can you review a cigarette on anyway? But this, I think Prip Pal generally does, he, or he can, abide by the, the, the smell uh, and the smoke of a cigar. It's, it's completely different. Yeah, I think um, this is burning really well. The ashes, the construction is brilliant. 
I know I keep going on about the construction, but it's, it's key in any cigar. Good construction means a good cigar. Rocky Patels, they've been going for years, so I'd like to say this was the 20th anniversary one. So if they got this wrong, <laughs> they'd be in trouble, wouldn't they? Because if I did a bad review on a 20th set, uh, anniversary cigar and it was falling apart and it was all over the place, then we'd have some issues, I think. But they do do a quality cigar. So if you are near any outlet and you want to try a cigar, all the ones I reviewed, great. They're all good smokes. I don't just pick any cigar. I do look realistically what I want to, but want to smoke. And with these reviews, I think you can. I'm, I'll help you make your decision. Because sometimes you go into a cigar place, and there's there's hundreds to choose from. So hopefully, from these reviews, you'll go in there. You'll ask for a specific cigar or a brand, and then that'll help you. And that you know, then you're going to get a good cigar. So I am starting to feel the heat of this cigar. So and I am struggling to get. A draw on it but I'll keep going for you viewers but yeah keep going but as you can see I'm still smoking upright because I want to keep this ash going to be fair <laughs> I'd actually want to put it out in the ashtray um, which again ashtrays are uh, you've got to get a cigar ashtray okay which I'll, I'll go into a few of the ashtrays that I've got I'll show you a few of the ones that you need you can get um, this one for example is a um, glass solid glass um, ashtray it is designed for two people okay as you can see there you have your cigar we're all in right we're coming to the end of this cigar now I've really enjoyed it it's drawing really well, all the way to the end. Maybe people would say there's still a lot more to go on that cigar. I am going to keep going. Um, it's starting to burn a little bit unevenly, which is fine. I'm not even going to bother attempting to um, change that now. It's fine. I'm, I'm okay with it. Um, sometimes you can be a bit too over the top with it, but I'm enjoying the smoke. I'm keeping the ash. The ash is working really well. Um, and I'll be honest with you, I didn't take a draw off this for about two minutes, two or three minutes, and it's still smoking really well, which is half the battle. Because sometimes cigars can go out and you just constantly keep realising it, toasting it, it's a pain. But this, this is definitely a nice cigar, it draws well. So let me show you, so this, is, this has been about three minutes, so let me show you. So as you can see, the first two drawers there weren't great, they did smoke brilliantly, but once I got the, the, to the third drawer on that cigar, you can see the smoke everywhere. It's great. And that's what you want in the cigar, to be able to see when you take it into the mouth, draw it, and then just blow all that smoke out. It's, it's, it's sexy, it's sexy, that's all I can say. You might think I'm sad by saying that, but how I feel, sexy, sexy smoke. I'm starting to feel the embers on it. I'm starting to get out to my fingers. But what's also nice about it, you can almost, the way I'm holding the cigar, is it starts to indent into the cigar, into the, into the, uh, into the leaf. Honestly then, that's hot that is, that is really hot. So I think on any cigar, once you get down to that level, you're gonna start feeling a bit a bit more, a bit, can get uncomfortable sometimes, but it doesn't matter. If only you've got, my fingers are fine for it them, so I think there's a couple more minutes on this cigar, and then what we'll do is we'll do a nice review on the cigar, I'll let you know what the verdict is, um, but again, it's still peppery, it's enjoyable. It's a big wrench. He always wants to be in the shots, so you're coming in, sit down then. This is a massive surprise to me. What are you like? It's not so sure, but 
this is this is progress. I think he's starting to really get into this cigar smoking. He, he just wants a bit of the bang. You could be in, in any of the shots. This is crazy. Honestly, you would not believe. I've been doing cigar smoking now for I think five years, six years now, and he's never done this. You get cameras involved, production. He just wants to be famous. This is claim to fame. See that's struggling now a little bit because I've, I've left it a bit longer. Plus it's getting right down to the bottom of the cigar. So I think we're drawing to the conclusion of this cigar. And again, I'm happy with the ash. I'm happy with the cigar. I think we're pretty much done now. Um, anyone wants to worry about there's still a bit left in that it's, it's just becoming uncomfortable on the fingers so call me what you want but it is it is what it is it's, it's a nice cigar and it's getting to the end so I'll take a couple more draws give you my feedback and we'll come back shortly there we have it I think I'm pretty much done there on that cigar so I'm happy with it. The ash is really nice. The ash has been great all the way through. Um, I think next time I'll try and get it a bit longer. I think it's about two inches. Don't quote me on it, but I've really enjoyed this cigar. Um, so it's the Rocky Patel 20th anniversary, 1995 to 2015. I've probably had it in my possession for the six months or so. Um, and again, it's, it's, it's been great. And, and the cigar has been stored in the humidor and they're essential to get. But again, I'll go through different humidors for the beginners right the way through to when you get a bit more experience and want a few more cigars of what ones to purchase and ones that I personally like. And maybe I can get a couple of the ones that I've had when I first started. As long as it's cedarwood, it's great. But yeah, um, I'm going to draw this to an end. I'm going to have one more draw on it. That being said, I've enjoyed today. I've enjoyed this cigar. I'll give you my rating shortly. So this is what it's like. What a lovely sound. What a lovely sound. There you have it. There's my cigar review. That cigar was a very good cigar. I enjoyed it. So when I'm looking at grading it, I, I look at the, when I first light it, how it cuts, how it toasts, how it burns, how the ash runs down, how the leaf forms, um, and how much of the cigar I can get. So that cigar was a really nice cigar. It was a nice mild cigar. Sorry, I'm just gonna have to. And I think the stronger the cigars, Reggie would be in here, because I think they can get a bit harsh, a bit too much for him, but that shows testament to that cigar. It is a mild cigar. It was a nice burn, and Reggie's still here. So, it looked great. The presentation was great. The binds were great. I like double binded cigars as well. They've gone to a lot of effort, this, this cigar company had to make all of the experience really well. So, well done, Rocky Patel. I enjoyed that cigar. And I'll be honest with you, that's the first time I've smoked that one, because they are a limited edition. They do come out for the 20th anniversary. I enjoyed it, I enjoyed the whole experience. The double bands, great. It was just a lovely cigar. And what I'm gonna do at the end is I'm gonna just go through, like we said before, of where I think this cigar rates, um, as in famous people that smoke cigars. So look, look right to the end, and I'll give you my honest review of where I think that cigar is. All right, so stick with us. We'll have a little drink, me and Prip, whiskey. Now last week, I know you all noticed, I'll use brandy glasses for whiskey. Sin, all right, won't happen again, but we just picked the glasses up, we poured it, and we drank, okay? So this week, I'll show you the real glasses to use when we're having a whiskey, all right? Right, so, my review. So, we did a scale of one to 11, famous people that smoke cigars. 
this, in my view, is number three, okay? So that is Al Capone. So, Reggie, what do you think? See, Reggie agrees. He's not playing game, but he agrees with number three, Al Capone, a great cigar, go out, get a Rocky Patel, 20th anniversary cigar, okay. Enjoy it. If Reggie enjoys it, I enjoy it. Brett Powell sits in the background, he's enjoyed it, it's been a great review. So, get yourself a Rocky Patel, 20th anniversary, it's a nice short smoke, an hour max, and it's banging. Enjoy it. So, Al Capone, number three, great cigar. Enjoy. Oh, that's a good boy. Yes. Right, that concludes the Rocky Patel 20th anniversary cigar. Customary. What we're going to do now is, me and Prit, we're going to have a nice glass of whiskey in proper whiskey glasses. So, Prit, would you like to join me for a nice glass of whiskey? And what we're going to do is, I'm going to pour the, the, the glasses now, and Prit is going to obviously explain of what he's been up to um, over the last couple of weeks. Um, which he's got a few things that he's got his um, what he's been doing. So, yeah, let me get this uh, poured. A little bit of icing, so we only have a little measure just to finish off. That should do. I'll explain more moving forward what this whiskey is, um, but again, we're going to do some more reviews on whiskies and cigars the further it goes on in the review. So, so Prip, what have you been up to then recently? Cheers. Oh, well, cheers first, guy. Right? Thank so. you. Let's give it a little bit of a try. Give it a bit of a shake, have a bit of a smell. It's, it's a fantastic whiskey, but I will explain more about what this whiskey is. Generally, I don't normally have a, a, an ice cube in it, but it is relatively early for uh, a strong whiskey, so it's always nice to have a bit of bit of ice in it. So, okay. <laughs> well, it's ten thirty in the morning. <laughs> we do so, so early. What have you been up to then? Well, since I last saw you, um, we just finished our new record, and yesterday mm -hmm. I came went to the pressing plant. Yeah and I uh, have a new project and uh, we manufactured manufactured the record so Prit works really hard honestly he just don't stop and that's one of the reasons why we've come together and this guy's amazing so <laughs> here's my new album or our new album I'm not the artist but I'm behind the record label and uh, this is an old friend of mine size si specs man so he looks I mean the, the cover looks Crazy! It looks like something from the like late seventies, eighties. He's, he's got a completely different look on this hip hop kind of style. Yeah. So Simon, he's got a character, an alter ego called Barry Boots, okay. based in Cornwall. So he's down like South East. Yeah, yeah. That is. And uh, as you can see, he looks like an open university <laughs> uh, lecturer. And he uh, looks Simon, like a Barry. He looks like Barry. So he's this eighties nerd character that knows a hell of a lot about the technical side of make, making music, drum machines, sampling and everything. Yeah. And he was a guy that 20 years ago that I got to meet in London when he was signed, just signed, yeah. side specs, right? And 20 he, uh, years. And he would teach me a, thing, a, lot, a lot of things where I was going wrong with drum machines. So I was doing a lot of things wrong and he showed me, look, you could do this, you could do that. And we were all like, all like into uh, digging for records, looking for records. So I'd put on record, show him records and he showed me a hell of a yeah. lot of records, right? So we got this, and we said 20 years later, I said, when I set up a record label, if you if you want to put a record out with me, let's do it. So here's our album. So yesterday I spent the whole day in itching. Well, let me just stop you there, Prit. So really, it ties into the cigar as well. So it was the 20th anniversary of the cigar, the Rocky Patel, 20 years of friendship. So it all ties in really nicely, to be fair. <laughs> yeah, so we, uh, I spent the day in the factory making the record. I took a couple of guys there who I work with in yeah. my regular job. They came and helped me, so we had to go to the factory, manufacture the vinyl, learn how to use the machines, and then we uh, assembled the package because this is more than just a record. Yeah. You know, you get this, obviously, with the 70s type graphics. Oh, wow. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> That's unreal. And then 
we have an insert poster. So we've got a poster here, which is a uh, I don't know if you remember the old Smash It's magazine. I mean, uh, Pritz Prit already said to me about the the idea of this, and I'm I'm excited to see what it is. So we've got a poster here that breaks down every track, the information how it was built and what he did for the sample, and then you've got the icing on the cake. Go on. <laughs> <laughs> that I mean, look at that. That is proper retro '70s. That's unreal, and you get that with every. Every purchase of the album. Every purchase of the album, you get this. So if you were, uh, and it's signed. You want a hip hop icon on the wall? There's your man. There's your man, Barry, and he signed it to you. With love, Barry. Proper. Where's he get the gear from? Is that that must be from some form of a charity shop or something? He, that that stuff you can't buy off the shelf, can you? You can't get that now. He digs through his clothes. And what? A, wow. That's Look at his moustache. <laughs> Check out the moustache. Yeah. See, he's got the moustache. I got the beard. So it's it's a it's a great to be so fair. So this is like the uh, the UK poster. This is the poster for you know if you were uh, if you remember Smash It. Yeah, yeah, it. yeah. And so you've done all this together. Well, both of you. To be honest, collaborate. To be bit. honest, for the very first time, I've had to do very little okay. on the project because Simon's graduated as a graphic designer, illustrator. Okay, yeah. So he's done all the graphics himself, he's done all the posters uh, himself, photography he, he done himself. But he's, he's got people that are around him, he lives in Cornwall, so he, everything he did himself, the video work, the, you see the trailer yeah. in this episode for the album, he did that himself. All I've had to do is pay for the record, go down to the factory, make the record. Yeah. Normally I do everything on all the projects, but this one here, he's done pretty much most of it. Right. So, check out this. Another little one. Oh, there's something else. So uh, if you remember the 80s, like, <laughs> uh, we've got the British type style Smash It's poster yep. for, like, for the international type image. Okay. I'm not yet to see this. Well, we've got this. I'll show you guys before I show this. <laughs> That's like Hawaii 5 oh, that. That's like... And they're all hand signed? Yeah. Oh, wow. So that makes it... Even better, but I, I don't know if you got to see the, that. That is fantastic. Look at, that, look at that. Look at the shoulder pads. I mean, come on. I mean, this is a guy that's got his own style, and he's got Prit working with him. It's it's unreal. That is that is just. <laughs> if you're just going to buy the album for the pictures, take them. Get these on your wall. But they're all signed by the looks of it by the guy, and apparently, well. He's a talented guy, isn't he? Well, and what it, kind of music is it? So what, what so kind it's, of work it's, is it's it? It's instrumental hip hop. Okay. Right? So necessarily you might not be interested into the rap stuff, right? Yeah. But this is something that you can listen to in the car, enjoy, listen at home. But it's just a great instrumental piece. You know, a lot of sampling. And for you to be a part of it, cool it, it, it means that it's going to be something that you're, you back fully. And you've got 20 tracks on it. Vinyl. Honestly, I've... It's, it's suddenly becoming a big thing again, I think. Um, and yeah. what we're doing, you're going to find that we're going to be planting like five copies or seven copies around the country in uh, charity shops. Oh, okay. They're going to have a like, a, remember, what's that? You did with these. Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory. Yep, right? yep. So the golden gonna have, ticket. They're going to have a golden ticket in there. And we're going to be putting out postcards with a clue of where these charity shops and are. And you've got to go find them, so it's a bit of a, yeah, bit yeah. Of a challenge and to find. And there'll be some prizes if, uh, if you win them. To be fair, to like you, you get quite a lot for you for, for, for whatever it is, and that you know. For me, I like listening just to to music, and this would be right up my street. I definitely think it would be because I'm into hip hop in a big way. Uh, this would be right up my street because I do like just listen to music as well. So no, I mean. Check out, I mean, you're le leaving everything in the link of the description on the video. Yeah, because you, you people to have a look at it. I think we're already on Spotify with this album. Perfect, okay, That's great. Some of the band camp and everything, so you can listen to it digitally, I believe you probably, probably be on YouTube already, but you can go and check out this So this guy's a talent, he's working with Prit, who's a talent, so I'm, I'm sure you won't go far wrong with this and it, purchase. And you get a few extras as well, which are great. Put on your wall, we'll just have a bow, we'll just keep it as a, as a piece of you know memorabilia or just keep it <laughs> and if you're an old school Star Wars fans like ourselves yeah, right? yeah. old school Star Wars go on YouTube check out ba uh, Barry Beats or Science Specs Star Wars right 
type in that. And he's done a, a track where he's a video editor as well. Where he's gone and looked for all old records that have made like Star Wars themes. Really? Okay. Different types. And he's, he's made a cut and paste record. Just like Cold Cut in the back in the day. Well, I'm yet to listen to this, this album. I will be listening to it. I will be making my purchase because I'm fully behind everything that you do. So get yourself out there. Get yourself a look at it and find out. And Sorry, you have to excuse me here. The dog is trying to get involved again. And, and you know, again, you've got to tune into what we're doing here with the, the cigar, with cigar cabin. Production. Yeah. Hopefully, this will be the last time I'm getting in front of the camera. Is, but we'll get some guests in here. Can you leave your comments below if you think this is a good segment for each of the each of the, the times we're doing videos? Then leave you leave your comments. We'll listen to them. We'll work on it. And you know, I want Prip to be involved in everything that we're doing, and this is a part. I think this is great. At the end, we can have a bit of a chill out, have a whiskey in the proper glasses. I have, you know. But and my job behind the camera is filming and editing. But if you, uh, if you're you know, a fan of cigars, you like some smoking cigars. Yeah. Check out the cigar Spot cabin. Contact Des at the cigar cabin. Yeah. We're we'll looking maybe at guests. Get you with a guest. We're looking at people to come and have a smoke with me, and just enjoy the whole production. Um, and you get to meet Reggie as well. Obviously, he's going to be a big part of it all as well. So, actually, as you can see, you want to. So, what do you think? Nice. Very we enjoyed nice. the whiskey last time. So, yeah, it's it's been a good end. Check out the album. Check out our work. Check out the cigar cabin. Subscribe. Check the notifications. Check out our website. Check Twitter and Instagram. And uh, we'll see you in episode four. Keep keep it real. Thank you for watching. <laughs> sound print, that was sound. Alright, that's done. Brother, what's the time? We're at like quarter past eleven, we're done. So, make sure you subscribe to the channel, make sure you check out our website, check out our Twitter and our Instagram. I'm going to enjoy this cigar now, make sure you check out the next video. <laughs>